Hey friends, it is International Tea Day. Are you a tea drinker? I confess I am mostly a coffee drinker, although I do have periods of enjoying a good hot cup of tea. And I went through a period a few years ago where all I drank was freshly brewed tea, especially green tea and a certain kind of Russian tea called Russian Caravan, which I'll talk about here momentarily. I am excited to share with you five fragrances in honor of International Tea Day, all one different from the next. They are all very unique creations and some of the loveliest in my collection. But first, let's take a moment to sip a cup of tea together and express gratitude for having a warm home to sleep in, a comfortable bed to lay our heads at night, the means to feed ourselves and someone in our lives to love or to love us. One of the things that I do love about having a nice hot cup of tea is a second to feel warm and cozy and reflective, to slow down from the crazy pace that our days can take on sometimes. And I'd like to start with a fragrance that gives me that reflective hug, comfort in a bottle sort of feeling. And this is from Javoy and it is called Remember Me, Remember Me. This fragrance is for me, milky and smooth. And think about like chai tea, chai tea with milk in it. And it also has, although you won't see it in the note structure, almost like an aromatic touch. Like there are some herbs in the background of the fragrance, but you get a, a vanillic, milky, spicy chai tea experience here. The spice is primarily cardamom. There's vanilla, there's a milk note. And it just combines into this warm sense of having a nice cup of tea. And it's lifted up by some brightness from citrus in the fragrance. So it keeps it from being too serious of a tea fragrance. Ginger, lemon, and bergamot create a citrus accord here that keeps this fragrance from being overly serious. It keeps it light and bright. However, that milk and that vanilla and the spice also create that sense of warmth and a nice hug in a bottle. Very versatile fragrance, easy to wear if you like a lactonic, spicy, sweet fragrance. Remember me. So whereas Remember Me is a nice warm hug in a bottle with that hint of citrus to give it just a little strand of brightness, the next fragrance I want to chat about is spicy, woody, and sweet in a different way than Remember Me. So think about this one being milky and think about five o'clock Eau Jean Jambre from Serge Luton's as being woody and not milky. And then you get a similar sense of some of what makes Remember Me so special with the addition of cinnamon and honey, which I think are just great in this fragrance. This one is more gingery. Cardamom is the star player, the star spice in here, although this does have ginger and other citruses in it. Here you have tea accompanied by ginger and spiciness from cinnamon, woodiness, and a nice honey note that gives it a special kind of sweetness. It's interesting with this, if you look at reviews, some folks feel this leans incredibly masculine and some folks feel like it's super feminine. So for me, this is wearable by whomever is interested in smelling sweet and spicy and woody. This fragrance for me, just like Javoy, both have decent projection and longevity to take you through the majority of the day. I like that this one feels lighter on the skin. Remember Me is a little milkier, and so it feels a little bit more enveloping and all-encompassing. This one has a brightness and lightness, likely due to the fact that it's woody and gingery versus the milky type of accord that you get in Javoy. Really great fragrance. See if you can find this one on a discounter, 5 o'clock Eau Jean Jambo. Quite a gem of a nice little tea fragrance. The next fragrance was sent to me by Twisted Lily. Thank you to my friends over there. And this is called One Umbrella for Two from Floraiku. That is a tongue twister. One Umbrella for Two from Floraiku. I am a fan of Floraiku as a house. These tend to be pricier fragrances, but I will say they are worth it in the sense that the packaging that they come in is really nice. You get a travel spray, and I enjoy that the cap becomes the container for the travel spray. You can put the travel spray in there and then a cap on top of that. I didn't bring it down here to show you all, but each of the fragrances has the same bottle design for the most part. It looks like this with the name and so forth in different colors. And then the top of the fragrance has its own unique design. So this is an umbrella here on this one. I think the bottle design is really, really cool. And they all have a haiku on the back. This one says, our eyes raised to the sky, no rain, one umbrella for two. So this is one that was popular on YouTube probably two-ish or so years ago. And folks don't talk about it as much anymore. 
And I'm not sure why, because it is really good. It's been compared to a blueberry muffin, like a warm blueberry muffin, fresh either out of the oven, or if you think about going into a pastry shop and you come across muffins that have fruit in them, blueberry in particular is a note that stands out here. There's a really gorgeous black currant note at the opening of the fragrance and moving into the mid that I believe gives the fragrance that sense of blueberry, along with some of the other notes in the composition. In the middle of the fragrance experience, you get a nice tea fragrance that comes forward. For me, this is more like an Earl Grey tea than a green tea or anything else. And a rice note that accompanies the tea here and a little bit of woodiness and muskiness in the base. By and large though, this is a fruit tea fragrance that plays really nicely on the skin in terms of being unisex. There are aspects of it that are feminine from the fruitiness. And then there are other aspects like the woodiness of the dry down that may feel a little bit masculine leaning to some. I think it is a lovely gourmand fragrance, different from the norm, and does give you that sort of blueberry-esque pastry feel, which I think is really fantastic about this and makes it unique from probably anything else that I have in my own personal collection. This has moderate projection off the skin and then kind of gets closer, and it does have decent longevity. If you're interested in this fragrance or any other of the Floric Roof fragrances, there's some beautiful ones with gorgeous designs on them, a really unique Christmas gift or holiday gift in general for the fragrance lover in your life who appreciates a little bit of art sitting on their fragrance shelf, you can shop Twisted Lily using the code Veronica10. It's linked in the description box and in the pinned comment below for one umbrella for two or any of the Floraiku line. Really fantastic. So thanks again to my friends over at Twisted Lily for sending this to me. Next up is one of the coolest and most unique fragrances in my entire collection. And I figured out a mystery about this just today <laughs> as I was preparing for the video. This is a good one, you guys. This is called Indigo from Nest. Love the bottle, love the design of this. A lot of people think about this as mostly a fig fragrance. I get some fig in it. However, for me, there is a predominant tea note. And listen to what I have to say about this. In the past, I've described this as a tea fragrance with woodiness, with something that was in the spearmint direction or minty direction, and I couldn't quite place it. It gave me a little bit of like a menthol feel, if you will, and I was just not figuring out from the note structure why that was. So <laughs> finally today, I looked a little bit deeper into the notes from indigo, or for indigo rather, and the tea is a Moroccan tea. Now it all makes sense, because when you think about Moroccan tea, it is mint, it's a mint tea. So of course it would have that sort of sprightly, lively, spear minty, minty type of, maybe pepperminty type of scent here. So now I get it, finally, <laughs> that mystery is solved. Now everything makes sense, now it's all falling into place. Yes, you get that minty tea, with some sweetness from fig, a little bit of brightness from other citrus, and a woody base. And that is what makes this fragrance so unique and interesting. Love the nest bottles with the artwork on the back. And then when you turn the bottle around, you get some other unique little artwork there too. And so this is a little butterfly, which I think is adorable. This is projecting and long lasting. It's one of the more unique and bizarre fragrances in my collection, but I have to say because of that, one of the most enjoyable, really unique tea, fragrance but a minty tea and then my fifth and final tea fragrance this one being especially unique and one that took me a while to warm up to but it's in the solid really like category maybe even approaching a love as i play with it more in these cold months tea for two from l'artisan perfumer what i love about this fragrance you gotta forget what the note structure tells you it's supposed to smell like this for me is what i call like a russian caravan tea fragrance. So I remember trying a tea called that and it was smoky and spicy and dark and almost like earthy leathery. That is what I get from this fragrance, especially on the opening. It's fairly masculine in the opening. You get some pretty strong spicy tea notes. There's tobacco and as it settles down, you get a little bit more sweetness that comes in from a honey note and it continues to evolve as it sits on your skin and mellow out and become very pleasant in the dry down. Very nice, stays a little bit smoky, but I would say some of the more feminine aspects of the fragrance come to play in the mid and then deep into the dry down of this fragrance. You get a little bit of leather, a lot of tobacco that to me just translates not as traditional tobacco, but more so as like this 
earthiness, this um, dried leaf earthiness, with other spices, with cinnamon, and definitely that tea note. This, I think, of the ones that I shared with you is... I mean, these are the two most interesting, unpredictable ones. This one being that mint feature and this one having that sort of spicy Russian caravan type of experience. Then you get your blueberry muffin and tea, like you're having a pastry with blueberries in it with your tea at the coffee shop or tea shop. <laughs> your spicy woody tea with five o'clock au Jean Jambra, heavier on the cinnamon in this one. And then your milky hug in a bottle cardamom, vanilla, musky, woody tea with Remember Me. Really nice selection. So I hope my friends that you get to enjoy a warm cup of coffee today and have a moment of reflection and then take yourself shopping, go on down to the link and check out Twisted Lily and their offerings. By the way, I will have additional recommendations in the tea category pinned in the pinned comment below for you to check out, including my signature fragrance still by Jennifer Lopez. Love that one. Very different kind of uh, fragrance with tea in it. So let me know what you think and let us know in the comments what your very favorite tea fragrance is. Have a lovely day with warmth, comfort, and a moment of reflection. Take care, my friends.